um, well, how are you looking? You know, because I know facials tell a lot. You can tell a lot by somebody's facial expression. And growing up, my mom, you just had to have this kind of look. That's all. You couldn't do none of them. You couldn't do that. Just, you had to have the blank face. Because this mean like, what? That's what that mean. This mean like, I can't believe you say that. Won't you stop talking to me? That's what that means. Okay? That's what facials mean. And see, that's what kids fail to realize is your face talk. You ever heard somebody say body language? Like, if I'm talking and I'm right here, I'm talking to you, I'm talking to you. You ain't telling me the truth because you can't look me in my eye. Why you can't look me in my eye? Or, um, well, I don't know. That means you upset. Okay? Body language, facial expressions tells a lot. Why, why, why not? Why, why, why not? And I want to thank all of you for coming here this Friday. Um, first, please subscribe to my channel. Share this video with others. Comment so we can have things to talk about. And also like this video. Please also go to my daughter's channel, Tyra's Big World of Flavor, and continue to show her support. I'm just an extension of her channel to give some, I guess, maybe adult talk. You know, so we can just talk out things but what I'm going to do now I'm actually going to the King Burger King and I'm going to order my breakfast because we're going to eat breakfast this morning while we talk first how y'all been doing before I roll down my window welcome Burger King we'll take your order please good morning good morning can I get a number one you want to call me when I'm going to say that you uh, I'll take a soda yeah, is, is your icy machine working? Um, yes, ma'am. Okay, can I get a Coke icy? Okay, anything else? Um, that will be all, oh, and with strawberry jelly, please. Okay, be four eighty two four around. All right, thank you. Y'all need me to pick me up this morning. Me a icy. I love your icy. You said 418? 480. 480, okay. There you go. Thank you. Y'all see if I smile on my face with this action. There you go. Okay. I love icing. Ooh, you give me an icing. You got a little happy little girl. Little girl, little girl come out of my body, y'all. I ain't grown no more. I get me an icing. <laughs> How many of y'all have a little trash can in your car too? A couple. No ma'am. Have a blessed day. Thank you too. Thank you. Okay. I'ma pull over and put my strawberry jelly on here before I get started. Pull over out the way. I hate when people be just stopping in the middle of the way and they know they doing something. Just pull on over to a park or something. This person looking for somebody? I ain't the person you looking for. 
Y'all yeah, be good. It's Friday. Y'all ready for this Friday? What y'all got planned? What y'all got planned for Friday? Huh? Y'all guess what? She forgot my strawberry jelly. I know y'all heard me ask off for strawberry jelly. Now I'm about to eat this without strawberry jelly. Y'all already had my mouth ready for it too. I'm gonna pause this. I'm going in because I gotta get my strawberry jelly. All right, everyone, I'm back. Got my strawberry jelly. And yeah, I think I'm gonna have to go back to doctor's care. I was going down the stairs this morning thinking I'm all better because I was walking better when I got up this morning. And after I washed and everything, I was walking so much better. I'm thinking I'm good. Go to trot down the stairs. It's something pool again. Now, I could barely walk. I could barely walk. It hurts so bad. Whew. Trying to be a big girl. And I yeah, I put on my, my ankle little brace as well as as well as my um my leg my my wrap around my leg because I was trying to compile everything, you know, just make everything tight. But it ain't working. I think I'm gonna have to go back, Jesus. Oh, all right, so first I'm gonna say my grace. Lord, I wanna thank you for the food that I'm about to, that we're about to receive. Help it to nourish our bodies in these words, but yes, in your son Jesus' name we pray, amen. All right, let me take my first bite. I need to check and see if I need salt on my, um, my, um, tater tots, tater tots. I tell you what, they see these eggs like they was at home. That they did. Okay. Let's go to work. But y'all. Today is Purple and Gold Day. It's to kick off. The alumni are having a fish fry. And they're going to have to introduce the team. The, um, the football players and cheerleaders. So, y'all I don't want to miss it. I don't want to miss it going to the ER. I'm going to have to get checked out. I have to. Luckily, it's my left leg. That's why I'm driving, so. I know I'm going to need to get this done before homecoming. So. And so how was y'all day yesterday? Mine was so busy. I'm actually helping the alumni area. I normally help them when it's almost homecoming time to get ready for homecoming. So I'm putting together the souvenir booklet and that's real tedious. We're putting the pictures on there and the, the people's information. And I also had to go to a game day meeting because I also help athletics. I volunteered there and I helped them on the compliance side to make sure uh, with the um, NCAA eligibility and stats. I have to do that. But of course, I don't have to. But I volunteer to. But I know someone asked me to speak on teen pregnancy. I am going to do that. But before I do that, I would like to have some statistics and not just be on opinion because that's something I haven't gone through. 
I have seen some and I have advice for our teens however I don't want my advice to come off as if I'm trying to tell them you know like, that, like I'm their, their parent I want to give them scenarios and and statistics to back up the information that I'm giving to them because you know they have their proof nowadays when our parents used to tell us we knew that was gospel truth and it probably was so wrong it probably was like our parents told told us yeah we kissed we got pregnant you know we would think like that and someone rubbed us wrong we got pregnant and we'll be that would be fearful for us Nowadays, mm -mm, you got to come differently with these kids. Mm -mm. Yeah, you have to come totally different with these kids. Because unfortunately, they hear their peers more than they hear the adults. Because they feel the adults are trying to judge them or stop them from doing things. Which is not the case. We were actually trying to protect them. But they won't see it like that. So we have to figure out different avenues to share information with kids now than what it was when we were growing up. Mm -hmm. Mm. Oh, this is delicious. Ooh. Ooh. Good. So good, about a tear in my eye. Woo. But y'all, I'm excited to see the band and um meet the players. Cause y'all, I'm a trash talker. We got a good team. You gonna hear about it? And I'm gonna talk trash, talk our team up. Cause before we had, we didn't bring our football program back to our school until 95 and that was the year I was pledging so I couldn't enjoy it like I needed to but I enjoyed it the next year and when we first got our program this was before we were in the um can y'all believe a bus turned in front of me like they're like they're Prius I don't get it you got children on there but when we first got our team this is before we was in the um, NCAA and eligibility. So you just got players that love the game and they got heart. So they're out there playing hard. And we had a great team. Our first year, we were contenders with the best of the team. Then when we got in the division at NCAA, that's when the requirements came. And you could give like more money. And they start getting greedy. Like they were professional players asking for more than what they probably were, you know, not eligible, but quality. They figured because they played before, they figured they the best on the earth. And I try to tell them, there are people out there better than you. So therefore, are people your same caliber. So therefore, you're going to be in competition with that person. And you still may not be, be starting. Yeah, they fried this. This sauce is good. And then, it started going downhill. I couldn't say, when I was a recruiter, I couldn't brag at all about our football program. Not at all. But I'll be bragging about our basketball, tennis, golf. Because we won a national championship. I think our third year with the golf program. And, um, 
track and field, volleyball, softball, baseball. I could have bragged about everything except football. So when people talking about football, I couldn't say nothing. They're just having a conversation by themselves. I wasn't gonna say two words. Couldn't talk trash. I got to think we can slip up a win. I'll talk a little bit of trash. If I don't see that happening, I'm quiet. Mm -hmm. And then, too, you have to look at the competition that you're playing. If you ain't got no good competition, I ain't bragging either. Cause the first thing the person you bragging to say, well, look who you was playing. <laughs> That'll be the first thing, because that's what I would say. You ain't playing nobody. That's what I would say. Yeah, I should just stay on my side of town and go on the urgent care. That's what I should have did. I was right back over there. Y'all, yeah, you tell me. I'm telling you, nobody be there. I went there for the other week. I promise you I got in and out. I went there the day before Tyra started school. Have y'all been watching football? Y'all, I haven't been on the TV in a while because after I get home, I'm so tired. I'll catch up on my YouTube channels that I normally look at. Tyra gets so mad at me because I watch a lot of mukbangers. She watch a lot of pranks and mukbangers. And um, mukbangers, sorry. Mukbangers. And I watch them as well as Casino Ho. She get mad at me. Come on, why you watch that? I say the same reason why you watch them pranks. I ain't knocking nobody. But in yeah, my opinion, my opinion, you can't prank every day. I mean, it's like it's expected, you know? You can't tell me you're going to get over on me each time. No. You know what I mean? That like you just a slow. Like, no, I ain't going to say that. I ain't going to say that. Tell me my opinion you couldn't get over on me every day with the prank that's like impossible it's like what is the person not looking for it if it's something strange and especially if you know the person if you know the person that's not their character and if it is how much can you take yeah yeah I like to have fun I play a little, but I don't play a lot. I don't. I can't. That's annoying. Cause you can't, you can't have play that much. That's annoying to me, me personally. I can't speak for nobody but me. That's a little annoying. Somebody constantly got jokes and jokes and jokes. Yeah, the jokes funny. Yeah, I laugh, but I'm like, come on. When are you? When are you serious? When can I expect for you to be serious? Is this you all the time? That'll be annoying to me. To me. So I can't sit there and watch it. And especially the stuff where people fall in. I can't watch none of that. It just That just hurt my soul. I just like, I don't want nobody to get hurt. So I can't watch that either. So let me watch my um, Mubongas. I watch some... Um, some of the the gossip stuff um, and casino stuff and documentaries sometimes. Now let me ask y'all this: How many of y'all saw the Dave Chappelle special? Some people were offended by it, and my opinion, only my opinion. I could get where he coming from because I will question stuff like that. If someone says, well, um, you know, not 
discrediting anybody that's going through any molestation or harassment or anything like that. If someone were to come and tell me somebody did something to them, he, say, say for instance, this is just an example, a little example. If, if someone were to say, he, he, um, he said this to me. No, he touched me this way or whatever. I'm like, ooh, why? What happened? What made him what made him come up to you and do something like that? What were y'all doing? I won't detail because in my mind, I'm trying to visualize what you're telling me. Because I'm like, ain't nobody in their right mind would do something like that and knowing that person and know they I understand people try people. They do. People do try people. However, you can try people, but then you try them on the level of you knowing that person, in my mind. That's what I think. You try them on the level of how, how well you know them. So I know what boundaries to cross and I know what boundaries not to cross based on the person I'm talking with because I understand their character and their personality. So Dave Chappelle, it was good. It was good. His jokes are funny, but it's more realistic and make you think like, okay, that is something I would do, you know? So his, a lot of people got offended because he was talking about Michael Jackson and the Michael Jackson case. And he was saying in his opinion, he don't think he did it. And, you know, he made a couple of jokes after that. And, and then he got on the R. Kelly situation and he was saying he think he did it. But he said he won't put it past him. That's what he said. But he was saying, like, me, I would question somebody. Because, like, Tyra, she get, I think she get, I know she does. She get mad at me and said, I was in class and this teacher said X, Y, Z to me. I said, okay, what were you doing for them to just come off and say that to you? Um, well, how were you looking? You know, because I know facials tell a lot. You can tell a lot by somebody's facial expression. And growing up, my mom, you just had to have this kind of look. That's all. You couldn't do none of them. You couldn't do that. Just, you had to have the blank face. Because this mean like, what? That's what that mean. This mean like, I can't believe you say that. Won't you stop talking to me? That's what that means. Okay? That's what facials mean. And see, that's what kids fail to realize is your face talk. You ever heard somebody say body language? Like, if I'm talking and I'm right here, I'm talking to you, I'm talking to you. You ain't telling me the truth because you can't look me in my eye. Why you can't look me in my eye? Or, um, well, I don't know. That means you upset. Okay? Body language, facial expressions tells a lot. Okay? So, our kids nowadays, it's a lot more than what they say and they put it on the other person. Or, they could be with some people and they trying to show off in front of their people they with. And they may look at it as not anything wrong or whatever. But it is. It's more to it. But when you try and explain this to them, they figure you taking the other person's side. It's not that. What I'm trying to do is get the full story of what's happening because what I'm not going to do is go to that teacher or that school and make a fool out of myself when I know you. I know what you're capable of. I know your character. I know your personality. I know what you will do. I know what you won't do. I know what you say. I know what you won't say. I know you don't do a lot of things in front of me that you might do in front of somebody else. All of this, I understand all of that. So what I'm not going to do is just take your word, her word, Tyra word, anybody else's word. I'm not going to do it because it's always more to a situation. And that's why I tell people when I do something, I'm not coming just telling you what the other person did. I'm going to say, I said something, they said something. They got nasty, and it could have been how I delivered what I said when I said X, Y, Z. 
So I'm taking ownership of what I said. So they can get the full understanding and tell me, well, Faye, you was wrong. Because you came out your mouth wrong. If you delivered it X, Y, Z, if you delivered it this way, that's why they got upset. But if you delivered it this way, I'm not understanding how they took it that way. You see what I'm saying? So it's different avenues. So when Dave Chappelle was talking, I'm like, okay, I'm one of them people that'll be there questioning people like, okay, what else? They can't, that can't be it. That, that can't be it. Because like when I was trying to help a student and she was uh, accusing the school as fault. Now, it could be part the school fault, but why did the school come up with this conclusion? So it had to be something you did or you didn't do for the school to do what they did. Or it could have been a mistake by the school, true, and it could not have been a mistake by the school. So tell me the details so I can better serve you. So that's why I was saying, you know, with the, uh, but y'all go check out the Dave Chappelle um, comedy. It's funny. It's funny. It's so real. It is so real. I promise you it's so real. And that's why I love stuff like that. If it's real, I can genuinely relate. Uh, visualize. I'm a visual learner. When people say, when people talking to me, it's like the words are flying out of their mouth and it's going in line and sentences. And then I got a whole picture going of what that sentence is so I can see exactly what they're saying. Y'all, I'm telling you, I, 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 that's when, when someone talking to me, even I'm on the phone or you before me, I'm literally visualizing. So watch what you say to me now. Because I promise you, <laughs> there's going to be a picture going on in my head because I'm visualizing what you're talking about. I am. I am. And I'm going to, if I, if I feel comfortable enough, I'm going to ask additional questions to make sure I'm putting the whole picture together. I am. Okay, and that's another reason why I didn't want to just come out and talk about teen pregnancy without having information because I always take in consideration some people you may need extra detail. Some people you may not need that much detail. Some people you might need proof. Me, you're going to have to give me proof. I'm going to need facts. you telling me something that's supposed to be concrete and written in stone. I'm going to need facts because I'm, I'm not just taking your word for it because you just be talking to hear yourself, trying to sound good because you heard somebody say it or you glanced over and read it and you probably giving it out wrong. That's just what I'm going to do. But I'm about to get out of here. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, comment, like this video, share with others, and also please go to Tyra's Big World of Flavor and come back to Why, Why, Why Not? Because we're going to see you Saturday on Tyra's channel when we go live. Tell us what time y'all will, what works well for y'all. We did 8 o'clock. But tell us what time will work well for y'all because we got something special that we're going to be doing live. And y'all can give us some comments of things some similar to what we did the other live where we were drawing. Give us some objects of things that you would like to see. You know, just objects like dinosaur or an emoji. You know, just a hint, examples. So I will see all of you later.